Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Z No! This is an episode in the first episode, by the way, of Junk Warriors. From the mind of Charles the Executioner Faults comes Junk Warriors, the show in which Charles and I battle it out to see if we can make a good weapon out of absolute junk. So basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going to a thrift shop and we're going to put 15 minutes on the clock. Charles and I get to buy three things at least that we have to put together in order to make a zombie killing weapon and we can use as much duct tape as we want we come back to ZGB Studios 15 more minutes on the clock to build a weapon then we test the weapon and then we figure out who the victor is sound good? if you want to see more Junk Warrior hit that thumbs up let us know you ready? I'm always ready to lose? no Let's get started. <laughs> you punk. This guy, <laughs> Little Gwen, Woo! Emmanuel Rodriguez, and we're about to go to a thrift shop. Thrift store. Thrift store. Store. In order to, what is it called? Store. Get bust, thrifty. Bust some ta tags. Get, get thrifty. We're gonna pop some tags. Pop some pop. Pop. We're gonna pop some tags. With only $20. With only, <laughs> yeah, $20. With only 15 minutes. Le less, less than 20, wait. How much money do we get? We each get like what, ten bucks, uh, and then fifteen minutes on the clock. Ten bucks at a thrift store goes a long way. Yeah. So, yeah. so ten bucks, fifteen minutes on the clock. We go into the thrift store, thrift shop. We find a bunch of junk. We put it together. We have to put at least three items together, and we can't use sports equipment or anything that's already good enough to be a weapon by itself and we come out of there we get to use as much duct tape as we want and we test these weapons out winner takes all of the bragging rights Woo! so let's see what we can come up with all right all right we got 15 minutes to find some stuff let's go I think I'm gonna use this. Okay, so rules are we can't use sports equipment for the most part. I think there's probably gonna be a little bit of give and take, but I honestly, man, this would be perfect, but we just talked about hockey sticks. This is my first choice. Oh yeah, hey, are you serious? Yes. <laughs> See, but like this isn't sports equipment. No, I don't. But still, I'm just telling. You. I want to try that hockey stick. In fact, I'm gonna get it for just a regular hockey stick. Charles doesn't know this, but I want to make a scissor pipe mod. If you're a real fan of Zombie Go Boom, you know why that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is my foundation. And I don't think they have scissors here, at least not the right type. So I'm going to have to go with a knife. rivalry going on. Your hockey sticks go where's, where's the rest of your stuff? I gotta find it still. Oh, okay. Hey, come here for a second. Look at this. See this thing? This thing here? It's a, it's a metal cat. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? But look. <laughs> it's a butthole. <laughs> what the hell? Why? <laughs> No one knows. Ooh. Look at that. I think that might work. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's not what you probably think it is, but it'll go here. Say I'm put this, you know, on this side, and then put this one on this side. And then I have a double sided little melee hammer. Oh, 
So far, this is what I'm starting to create, as you can see, and the rule of the game is that you're allowed to use as much duct tape as you want. Zombies, the bloodthirsty undead. Baseball bats, machetes, hammers, weapons of choice to bring down the walking dead. What makes a zombie go boom? Using scientifically accurate zombie analogs, we put your favorite weapons, objects, and mods to the test, empowering you with the skills and knowledge you need to survive. Learn the best ways to bash on dead skulls and stay alive in any situation. You've studied the books, you've watched the movies, but you've never seen anything like this. Forget everything you know about fighting zombies. Zombie go boom. Kick undead ass. Alright, 15 minutes on the clock, and each of us gets to use one roll of duct tape. Sweet. Let's do it. gonna work <laughs> all right let's do this all right so we're done I made this bad boy right here I'm calling it the uh, the the thing that's gonna break the what I'm calling this the whirly durly and it's uh, a <laughs> It's a combination between knives, a candlestick, and a pinwheel. And the pinwheel is for aerodynamics. And yeah, this is pretty cool. You? Uh, I made this. You know, I took a, a T-shaped piece of wood and I put a wine cork <laughs> on it. It's a metal wine cork. And then this broken, uh, I guess it was a candle holder. That we broke. both use candle holders. We both basically make similar <laughs> weapons. But and, and everybody was talking about that. We weren't planning to make similar weapons. It's just what we know works for the most part. Eh, T-shape piece of what are you calling this? This uh, crazy invention. I don't know. I kind of want to call it the Jesus stuffer. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> stuffer. Okay, the twirly whirly. Is that a Rick and Morty reference? Okay, the whirly whirly durly versus the. Jesus, the Crusader, <laughs> whatever, the Jesus care. stuffer, whatever. He gets to name his own thing. Okay, <laughs> who want, uh, we have to do uh, rock paper scissors to see who goes first. All right, you ready? Yeah. Well, hold on. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, that's right. You just can actually get. <laughs> All right. Okay, ready? On three or after three or uh, one, two, three, and shoot. Go. Okay. Yeah. Dang it! He always does I, I always do. I do always do rock, but I keep <laughs> thinking that he's gonna think that I'm not gonna do rock, and then I will win. But apparently, that's not the case. I guess Charles, you get to pick who goes first. I want you to go first. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go for side of the head, temporal, parietal bone area, and I'm gonna try to stick both of these blades straight into the cranial cavity. Let's see what happens. Everybody ready? Yeah, baby! One hit, one kill. Both knives went in. I you cheated. Whatever. I don't know <laughs> if it's I don't know if it's actually stuck. I you know I just let go of it. So let's see how stuck it is. This could be minus points for me. Yep. It's yeah. Stuck. 
Definitely minus points, but check this out. It didn't just pierce, it cut. Wow. All the way in, and you can tell it hit the cranial cavity from here all the way down. And then the second one actually tried to go into the air canal and failed. I don't see any blood coming out from this one. So, oh, oh and I got some damage on my second big. knife. This one was already like that, okay? Oh, okay? Just for the record. But, I mean, one hit, one kill. Maybe I won't be able to use it forever, but let's see if Charles can do any better. Let's see. I know I could do better. <laughs> All right, now I guess it's my turn. Uh, I had some trouble trying to figure out which side I wanted to use because they're both so cool, but I think I'm going to go with the spiky side since Chuck's first strike was so successful. I don't want to take any chances, so I'm going to do this one. Competition's real. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah! Oh my god, and you barely tapped it, it felt like. Yeah, and it did not get stuck. <laughs> it did. Oh man, and it's a kill. That's so, like a 22 hole. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a gunshot wound, like an entry hole. Okay, so, so far, one hit, one kill. Mine was a little bit compromised. Mine got a little bit stuck. Charles did not. He didn't have to put as much power into it. He still got a kill, but the one minus I will say about Charles' weapon, sorry Charles, is this handle. This is so uncomfortable. It's like the worst thing ever. At least my candlestick is like, you, no, you know, ergonomic. You can't hold it like a regular weapon. You got to hold it like, put your palm against the flat part there and then hold the flat part there with your fingers. That's probably why you couldn't hit so hard, huh? Yeah. But look look at how ergonomic my handle is right here. Yeah, but yours got stuck. True. Wanna do round two? Let's do it. Alright. I'm gonna use this end next time. Okay, same strike. Let's see what happens the second time around. Eventually, I'm guessing this is not gonna stay a weapon. I'll, I'll be holding a candlestick. I hope I don't, like, accidentally kill myself. Anyway. Alright. Ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. Maybe I'm not cutting into it on second thought. Look. It's just splitting it, yeah. So it's not that I'm actually cutting it. I thought I was cutting it, but no. It's actually going in and then just raking the crap out of it. And then the second knife right there did exactly the same thing. This time it actually pierced the cranial cavity, but it, all it's doing is just flaking the skull off. And then this is still stuck. Not as stuck as it was the first time. Still a kill, and the weapon hasn't gotten any more compromised than it was on my first strike, so... I don't know. I might still have a chance, Charles. Yeah, well, the thing about his weapon is I, I think it would have worked better if you only had one blade because have you ever done the experiment where you take a bunch of nails and put them through a board and then put a, a bed of nails balloon on yeah. top of it? Yeah, the balloon doesn't pop because there's so many nails. When you when you see somebody lay on a bed of nails, the bed of nails actually has a lot of nails because the less nails, the uh, like more if, pressure per nail yeah. so yeah no you're right if one you spike would have been better but yeah. i don't know i just kind of liked it looks i like cool. the way it looked kinda like a saber tooth tiger with a pinwheel <laughs> on it <laughs> all right my turn all right it's my turn and now i'm gonna use this side Oh no, is that wow. ten? What a, is that? Some kind of weak ass. No, metal. it's not it's not my it, oh it is metal, but it's it's uh sorry dude. Whoa. It's it's not it's not one piece. <laughs> wow. Oh look how thin that is. 
right. All right. So you gotta you gotta stick to one side. That's okay with me. This thing worked perfect All right, anyway. You, you can go again. All right. All right. Let's do it. Ooh, I'm dizzy now. How do kids do that? Yeah, this piece broke off, but at least I still have my cool belt hook. I want to see you hit it harder this time. Okay. Truck likes it hard. Remember that. What happened? No, look at your weapon. What happened? No, look at your weapon. What? How do I Where'd it go? How do I keep breaking stuff? It went over there. I saw it. And it wasn't a kill. Maybe I shouldn't have told you to hit it harder. You shouldn't have. Oh man, that didn't work at all. This just messed me up. I'm sorry. Where'd it go? So it didn't kill anyone. No, it's right good. here. Dang. It's hollow too. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've got a big problem with people making hollow metal shit, alright? <laughs> yeah, please. Damn, this pisses me off. Damn. Is that, is that, I guess you can still do... I can still keep going, but it's going to be more like blunt damage from here That's on out. That's okay. That's okay with you, because, you know, I'm going to lose. <laughs> do, you, do you want to do a third... Th I'll yeah. let you go again. All right, let's do it one more time. Right. Just one more time. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> Do. I didn't get into it that time either. Yeah, oh right yeah, there. you see that? That is a concussion for sure. Though. For oh man, it's it's uh, some serious bone damage. Their skin's gone. Um, bone stuck in the end of my pool. <laughs> yeah. Not, oh no! Are you kidding me? Look at this! Oh wow! No oh. no no! This is a kill. Oh, you can see the it's blood. A, this is a kill. The blood's starting look, to come out. Look, it it not only flaked off the skull, it cracked all the way across here and uh yeah that's 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 some serious brain damage that's still a kill yes. that's still a kill that's bleeding pretty profusely yeah all right time for me mr emmanuel rodriguez behind the camera keeps saying that i should use the other side of my weapon which is total bs because that is not how i designed it but since since he's a, a true super fan i'm gonna i'm gonna do what he suggested Ready? What did that? Oh, wow, yeah. Well, I don't know what it did. It looks like it just continued to damage what was already there. Can I do it again? Oh yeah. All right. One further inspection, it looks like it hit here, annihilated the skin, and uh, but I don't know. I don't know if it got in, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go again. There it is. Nope. What the hell? <sighs> Just hit it right there on the ground. <laughs> Will you pop that back up? Let me do it one more time and then we'll move on. Ready? Nate? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Oh, 
ما بفهمه Hard head. No, it it just it did not have any penetration and it started to turn on me and I lost my pinwheel which really 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 bumps me out. <sighs> Okay, I'm not sure how or when it happened or why, but the hook finally broke off. No, you can't put it on your pants. Oh, I can put it on my pants. You can put it in your pants, but you, can, you can't hang it off your pants. Yeah, if I put this in my pants, I'll probably get arrested. What? <laughs> All right, there you have it. The first episode of Junk Warrior. If you guys want to see more Junk Warrior, make sure you thumbs up. 10,000 likes would be great. Also, let us know in the comment section below which person and which weapon you think won. You guys get to choose. What is your opinion? Did, did I win with my super sexy uh, swir dur 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 durly? I can't even remember. Durly. What was it? The whirly durly. durly, okay? Whirly durly, that's the one where you can only get killed in, okay, yeah. The whirly durly or the Jesus stuffer <laughs> and uh, just uh, let us know let us know what you think in the comment section below and I love you guys thank you so much for watching please keep watching zombie go boom it really means a lot and it helps us out so much without you we'd be nothing we love you with another mind-blowing episode from junk zombie. warrior yeah that show yeah zombie go booms junk warrior yeah. I guess we'll call it no ZGB studios junk warrior I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And we'll see you next time. Please support Zombie Go Boom by subscribing to this channel and sharing and liking this video.